What is going on YouTube? Today, I got something interesting again, as I usually do. As you guys know, I like to like have poutines, but different types of poutines. Like I, I've had poutines that were like, I don't, well, I don't even remember. I've had so many, but I got another one here that's a mix of something else. So I went, and maybe I talked about it before, but maybe I haven't, but I have Osmos with me right now. And Osmos has this very special thing called a shawarma poutine. So I went and got that. I'm like, this should be interesting. So let's go ahead and try it out here. So the shawarma poutine comes with like, I guess the same thing a chicken on the sticks come with, except it has cheese curds in it and has gravy in it. So it's got extra with it. It just looks like a regular, regular chicken on the sticks, but it's got some extra stuff to it, some extra juice to it, if you will. So let's try it. Before we get started, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if anyone's trying to like, talk about. And down to do that, always check out the timestamps down below. Let's go. I also don't like how they distribute their hot sauce. I feel like they distribute it weird. So I kind of like to get my own hot sauce and add a bit extra. Not too much extra because I'm not trying to like die, but okay, let's go first bite here. Okay, so as you can see, there's cheese on it and stuff. Mmm, those are pretty good. That's not too bad. I'm not gonna lie to you though, there's so much going on with this. We got chicken, we got essentially what is a chicken on the sticks. Or no, I guess we got poutine here, but we added chicken to it and hot sauce and garlic sauce. So it's just a lot, it's pretty good. Definitely got more to it than a regular chicken on the sticks. Obviously, but there's just like, there's so much going on with this. It's like I'm eating, I'm like, oh, this tastes pretty good. I like the chicken, I like the fries, and boom, gravy and hot sauce and garlic sauce. And you're like, well, there. I thought originally it'd just be a chicken on sticks with like cheese curds in it, you know, just to make it, you know, a gimmick like a um, chicken on stick with cheese. You know, they doubled up on the sauce too. It all kind of merges together though. It's not like one of those where you eat it and you're like, wow, I can taste the, the like the difference in everything, right? It's like a very layered and complex taste. No. It's one very big, interesting taste. To me at least. It just tastes a little bit different from a regular chicken on the, uh, chicken on the sticks. I'd say the difference is probably like the cheese curds maybe. Like I can taste the gravy because I know it's there, but. If I gave some of this, he told me there's gravy in it, they'd be like, really? Yeah. Definitely not gonna finish this though. This is like insane, like, yeah, it's all cheese and like a little fry. Anyways, how was your guys' day? My day is not too bad. Not too bad at all. But did you guys see the uh, concert? Kendrick Lamar pop out concert, man. So for those who don't know, Kendrick Lamar held a concert in LA and had like a bunch of artists there and he performed like a, 
some songs from discography. And then he played uh, like the diss tracks because, you know, pop out is like a line he said in Not Like Us. So it was really good. I watched it. I wish I was there. I mean, the energy was crazy. Everyone's feeling like they're having such a good time, just vibing, dancing, and just, man, I wish I was there. I wish. I had the means to just take off work and go there for like two, three days just to LA, go see the concert. Or maybe I could have, but like he announced the concert so late. And like for me and where I work, I have to book my vacation in advance, like advance, advance. Like we have a specific like like week where we book our vacation for the whole year. So it's not like one of those where I could just be like, okay, I'm not coming in for this week. Like I have to book it off and go to like go and do whatever I'm gonna do. And I'm just like, wow, I wish I just knew ahead of time because I definitely would have booked off this week and at least like tried to go and see how much it would be. I don't imagine for like, like if I'm like by myself, it probably wouldn't be that expensive. I think a ticket to LA is not too bad. It's pretty cheap. A rental because like I'm not like, Busing and stuff, or maybe I could Uber, it'd be better. I hear LA traffic's pretty bad. Uh, and yeah. Food there for a couple days. I could take in some content, you know. Would have been a great idea. But the rapping was good, the performance was good. The cuts and the edits are live. For like, uh, well, I mean, yeah, no, live uh, would, was really good. Like you could tell they practice a lot. And they had some like talented people and dedicated people working there. It was really good. Performances were good. We had Steve Lacey. We had uh, Tyler, the creator. I think he came out to What's Your Name. Mm, I love that song. That's such a good, I'm so happy he like played that song because I feel like to me, that's like a very overlooked song. I know to some people they would be like, no, it's not. But like, I don't hear anyone talking about it. I don't see it anywhere. So I'm just like, I feel like it's a very overlooked song. So we played that Earthquake or Earthquake. Uh, who else is there? West Side Boogie. Uh, who else played? Roddy Rich played. Uh, a few people played. It was pretty good. J-Rock was there. All of TDE was there. There's some more in the crowds. Like I'm pretty sure says that was like in a disguise in the crowd. Ton of people went on stage, like DeRozan, and like I guess the camera people was Russell Westbrook also on stage. YG. I was looking, I'm like, damn, damn. I wish I was there. When how much the tickets were? I don't imagine the tickets were too expensive, but they're probably pretty expensive. Yeah, maybe not actually. I feel like he wouldn't want to hike the tickets up too much because he'd want people to come see. Kendrick's a very community oriented person, so I don't think he would, but also I understand that a lot of times like artists don't have the final say on like ticket prices, stuff like that. So I don't know. You have thousands and thousands of people singing, dancing to calling Drake, like, you know, uh, a P word, you know, a PDF file. I think that's what people are calling it. You know, to stay monetized on YouTube. I'm, I'm still not monetized, but you know, don't want to get the video age restricted because I don't think that's based on monetization. But uh, yeah, man, it's good. And then apparently they're filming the video today for the song. It's just like, I can't wait to see the video. It looks so good. They were doing street interviews with people who were there, like a part of the video or just watching. And everyone's just like, yeah, like a lot of people before us try bringing like LA together, try bringing Compton together. They're like, they couldn't, but you know. Kendrick's able to do it. And I know because Kendrick like takes like long highs before uh, he drops music, people think that like, he's not as big as he is. But I think now people see that Kendrick is massive. Like he's a massive star. Doesn't need to drop every year, every two years. He's already a massive star. So you guys should watch it. I think it's like an hour and a half long. Just an hour and a half long, maybe. It's really good. Really good, really good time. Good music, good vibes.
good stuff for people. I'm not gonna finish this because I'm my stomach's actually starting to hurt from eating this. It's just like, ooh, my stomach is not handling this really well. Like it's just, I think it's too much for my stomach. I think my stomach ate it and it was just like, humans aren't meant to eat this. These combinations of flavors and foods. So yeah, I'm about, I'm about to pack this up. Man, I don't feel good after that, but I hope you guys enjoyed. That was Osmo's chicken shawarma poutine. It, it did taste pretty good though. I would still get the chicken on the sticks over it because chicken on the sticks is as funny as it sounds, lighter on the stomach and probably lighter on the heart and everything else in your body. So probably give this one like flavor wise, like a 6.5 out of 10. It's pretty good. With that being said, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if anything you want to try on the top out. I'm down to this. Always check out the suggestion videos in the side. And thank you guys for watching. Let me guys know if you watched the Kendrick Lamar pop out concert and what you guys think about it. I thought it was amazing. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. So yeah, let me know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Osmos, Chicken Shawarma Poutine, 6.5 out of 10 for Shoeview and peace.